a lot of what I do with, with decision-making really, and I can let you into some secrets about really how coaching works is the simplest way of doing it is envisaging the end goal. What does that end goal look like, feel like, smell like? What does it, what does that feel like at the end of it? So a lot of what I do is get people to imagine themselves at the end goal. That goal is we want to be a billion dollar company, right? What does it feel like? Where do you, where you wake up? What meetings do you have? What do you do? What are you talking about? And envisaging yourself there is the first step to be able to, to, be able to achieve that. Really, In feeling yourself there, you can understand what it's like to be there. You can understand the work that you need to do. And then simply once you're there and we've got you into that position where you, you know what it feels like to be, in that, to be there, we turn around and we look backwards and say, well, what helped you get to the place that you wanted to get to? What were the steps that you made? What were the moves that you made that enabled you to get there? And again, it feels simpler when you look backwards and see the plan from behind. Also, I ask questions like, well, what's going to stop you getting there? What's going to get in your way? What are going to be the blockers or the challenges or the things that you're going to face along the way? What are your biggest fears across this? And we address all of those head on. Because again, one of the biggest reasons many people don't succeed is they are scared. They're going through a period of fear, often a lot of the time with the stuff they're working on. So they don't make the best choices and decisions at that point. And it may not even be something you're conscious of, but often understanding, talking about these things can help you understand and overcome them. I talk about name it to tame it, really. If you name it, you can tame it and overcome it as well. There's nothing wrong with dealing with emotions when it comes to decision making and being a leader. What is wrong is when you push those emotions down and try and not focus on them. That's when mistakes happen and when mistakes are made. So I'm talking about the modern CEO at the conference I'm excited about. How can leaders embody the concept of drive success in today's business landscape? So what I'm going to be talking about really is this idea that most of what was written about being a CEO is fundamentally out of date. The most successful CEOs we see right now are the ones that retired. They were brought up in a different time. A classic is Bob Iger at Disney. So many years into the job and his leadership has evolved over the years. And you look at him now versus 20 years ago, he's a different CEO. And I think what a lot of literature around this hasn't kept pace with what the modern world needs. So a lot of what I'll look at is what does it mean to be a modern CEO these days? How do you understand what the challenges are that you're facing? Because again, you may think that they're just in your business. Of course, they're not. The societal as a whole. There's a bigger element of what you've got to deliver in terms of impact as a CEO. So CEOs are the modern equivalent of the, of the old, of, the, of leaders of old, where they've got a lot of impact, a lot of power in that position. So a lot of what I work up, think about is well, how can you deliver that? How can you support, um, develop, empower your team all the way through? What does that look like to do that? How can you operate a business positively? by moving forward. And a big part of what I do alongside that is making sure that this is fun. How can it be fun to be the leader in the position you're doing? How is this a challenge that's enjoyable, that doesn't stress you, that means that you keep pace with your work life, but you also keep pace with your family life? So a big part of it is around this concept of sustainability and impact. How can you have a life that you want to live, be happy, make sure your employees are happy, your customers are happy, and be super successful because of that? not at that cost, is the two things are things that go step, step in step, hand in hand. Happy employees deliver results, deliver happy businesses. Happy customers are paying customers. They're happy to come back. If you embrace these principles all the way through, you can be and run a successful business. And that's really what the modern CEO is, is looking at the mindset and skill set to operate a business in the 2020s. And that's wholly different from the businesses of old.